Oh, hey there. Didn't see you come in. Welcome to Studio MPL. I'm Chris, and this is Will. Hey, guys. Today we're going to show you how to use an Xbox Connect to 3D scan and print your friends, make little models like this. So we're going to be using printers like this and a scanner like that, and in the end, we're going to have results like this. So if you guys are ready, why don't you come join us over here, and we'll go ahead and get started. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go, right, Will. Let's go. Hey. Thanks for joining us over here at the scanning station. So, something important before we get started. Powering the Kinect and hooking up to the laptop is important before opening up Kinect. If you don't do that first, the Kinect program, it won't recognize your actual Kinect. So go ahead and do so. So once you've opened up Kinect, and you notice that the sensor is detected, you want to press New, start a new scan. You click Start. And here's where you're going to ensure that the subject you're scanning is appearing green. You can see what you're scanning in the box in the middle of the screen in full color. And then on the right, what looks like a heat map. You want that to be green. Once you click the record button in the top left, it counts down and the scanning has begun. You want to make sure the whole time you're doing it that what you're scanning appears green. Chris is keeping the scanner pretty much perpendicular to who he's scanning or what he's scanning. Not tilting the scanner but keeping it straight on. Notice that I'm holding the cords and laptop out of the scan. Here's our last area from the direct front. Click stop when we're finished. And then the file processes. And you can see the grayish a light gray model in the center there. And there's even a set of lines or dots that trace the movements made with the scanner. And then click process. Click watertight under mesh. And it will further process the model. Make sure that it's 3D printable and fill in any tiny gaps that it may have missed during the scanning process. We can't print our model in full color on the printers we have. Save the file, export as an STL, you choose the units you'd like it to be exported as, and then you can either modify the file in some software like Tinkercad or simply bring it in to your 3D printing software and have a little statue of your friend. Setting up your file to print in the MakerBot software. First, locate your file and add it to the MakerBot software. Go ahead and scale to fit if it's too large for the actual platform. You can further adjust the scale to be the size that you actually need. Once you have the right size, go ahead and preview your print. The preview will show you the resolution, if you have your rafts on, and if you have your supports on. It will also give you an estimated print time. You'll be able to see in this time lapse that the print is pretty accurate to what we scanned. Okay, guys, thanks for joining us on our first episode here at Studio MPL. Chris, did you learn anything? I learned a lot about uh, filming, how to scan and how to print everything. Um, hope you guys learned something as well, and hope you guys come to join us at our next episode. Bye, Until next time, bye.